Hey everybody, this lesson is part two, solving one uh, variable equations. I think you'll like this one a lot better. It cuts it in, say, in half, the work in half. Hey, if you can, don't forget to like the, the lesson if you can. And your lessons are found at mrmathlog.com. Okay, so here we go. Let's find the solution of each situation. Okay, so we had this same problem in the last lesson. Susan wants to hire a babysitter for this weekend for her three children. Babysitter A charges 10 bucks per child and five bucks an hour and babysitter B charges 15 bucks a kid and two bucks an hour so when will they charge the same amount so in the last lesson um, okay we got these two equations right here so here's uh, 30 bucks because it's 10 bucks for the three kids 10 times 3 is 30 and then five bucks an hour so there's my 5x right there okay fifteen dollars a kid there's three kids so 15 times 3 gave us 45 and then two bucks an hour right there all right so in the last lesson we built a table and then we found out uh, we plugged the numbers in and we found out where were they the same after five hours we found out that they were the same okay and we plugged it into a graphing calculator and that solved it for us also okay so at five hours babysitter a will charge the same amount as babysitter b well check this out if they're going to charge the same amount we want to know when they're equal so we just set these two equations equal to each other and solve for x okay so we're going to subtract 30 from both sides and we get 5x equals 15 plus 2x subtract 2x from both sides 3x equals 15 so x equals 5 okay so at five hours the two babysitters will be the same okay so this is uh, stuff that you're more familiar with uh, solving equations so let's try it with this one this was in the last lesson also john needs to hire a painter painter a charges an initial fee of 175 plus $14.25 per hour, and Painter B charges an initial fee of $200 plus $11 per hour. For what number of hours will the two painters charge the same amount? Okay, so there's our two equations right there. Initial fee plus that much an hour, initial fee plus that much an hour. So when will they meet? Okay, so in the last lesson, we built that table and cranked out all of those number crunching things. We plugged it in a calculator, and we got about 7.7 .7 hours right there. Okay, well, let's just set them equal. Solve for x. Okay, so subtract 175, we get 14.25x uh, equals 25 plus 11x, subtract 11x from both sides, so now we divide by 3.25, and we get about 7.69 hours, okay? Remember, the graph said 7.7, .7, so 7.7 .7 hours right there. Okay, I think this lesson's way easier than the last one, but, but you know, I have to teach you what the, what the textbook's doing, so they wanted you to build tables, so that's what we did. So find the solution, the x-intercept of each situation. So we did this problem also. Tara had $800 in her bank account that she used to make automatic payments of a 151 uh, monthly uh, cable bill. So if Tara stops making deposits into that account, what would the automatic payments make uh, the value of that account? Okay, so just set those two equations equal to each other. So when will uh, this function, remember it takes off the, the cable bill, uh, every month so she doesn't have any more money in there and it just keeps docking 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 when is it going to equal zero so we just set it equal to zero okay so uh, I just uh, I don't like that negative x so I just put it over there on that side made it positive x so we have 800 there equals 101.51 then we divide uh, 800 by 101.51 and we get about 7.88 okay so the account's going to be zero somewhere in there between the seventh and the eighth month always answer it in the context of the problem don't stop here this means nothing you guys i don't know what that means does that mean ounces feet inches what does it mean well it's talking about months so between the seventh and eighth month the account will be zero you always got to answer it in the context of, of the problem see here's what we did uh, when we built the table right there and we did all that number crunching to get these tables and so it went from positive eighty nine dollars to forty three cents to a negative right there so somewhere between the seventh and the eighth month right there Okay, so here's our graphing calculator that showed that. So here's the x-intercept right there. We still get uh, 7.9 or between the 7th and 8th month right there. Okay, one more. Craig has $1,850 $1, in his bank account. We did this problem also uh, that he uses to make automatic payments on his car loan with that 473 So if Craig stops making money, putting money in his account, that's what deposits are. When will the payments make the value zero? So the same thing. We make the the 1850 
uh, minus the 473x equal to 0, and x is the number of months. Okay, so let's add the four seven, 473 to both sides, divide by 473, so we get about 4.62, so somewhere between the fourth and the fifth month. That's what we got in the last lesson. Okay, you guys, if you're in my class, I'm going to assign you that as your homework. And your directions say build a table, but I don't care which method you use on this uh, one because we built the table the first time. Take care.